she swooped in like like the Burgatory Batman and just you know <laughs> just started um, saving her life basically and. I like that. The Burgatory Batman new tonight. Patrons and employees of a local restaurant are being applauded for their heroic efforts. They saved a woman who passed out while choking. It was right at the Burgatory in North Fayette Township last night. And while waiting for paramedics to get there, several people, including a nurse, jumped into action. All made the difference. Our Shelly Boards talk with the woman who says that she owes her life to these strangers. A nurse became an unlikely hero off the clock at this purgatory last night. While so many people rushed to the choking woman's aid, no one had the skills to help. That was until that nurse swooped in like a superhero. I don't know where the nurse came from. Cody Shannon was sitting at the bar at Burgatory waiting for his takeout when he heard a commotion and realized the woman sitting a few stools down was choking. He describes the scene as chaotic and scary. He says there was a lot of yelling and screaming for help. That's when he and another man sprung into action to perform the Heimlich maneuver. I tried to give it my best shot, but she was still choking, and at that point, she had collapsed. Then, out of nowhere, Shannon says, a woman dressed in all black swooped in and began chest compressions. Within seconds, he says, the color came back to her face. That nurse came in and, and saved her life. That nurse is Madison Johnston. Johnston, who is visiting from North Carolina, was just leaving the restaurant after dinner with her family when she heard people yelling for a doctor or nurse. Without a thought, she says, she and her brother immediately went into action until paramedics arrived. And then when the 911 operator, I started talking to them and they said, lay her down and start doing compressions. And I felt and I didn't feel a good pulse. So I said, all right, let's do it. And I kind of, I guess, just jumped down and started doing compressions at that point. I spoke by phone earlier today with the woman Johnston saved. She says she's very sore today after breaking six ribs, but is so thankful to be alive. I really thank those people. I do owe them my life. I do this for a living. But hearing somebody be able to thank you and say that I'm a hero is just so kind. And I, mean, I couldn't have done it without everybody that was there. In North Fayette Township, Shelley Bortz, KDKA TV News.